this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit the notification bell to receive alerts as to when I upload new videos. And today I am so very super excited because I am participating in Friend Friday. This is hosted by Heidi Sambul of Heidi Sambul DIY. Hey Heidi. And so this is my first time participating in this collaboration where Heidi has pulled several of us together and we're all doing DIY projects. Now this time there was no theme or anything. It was just do whatever type of DIY you like considering we all have limited access to limited resources. So we're basically using what we have around our home to create DIYs. And so with that being said, and it's almost wedding season, so I decided to do a couple of uh, wedding DIYs that will be useful for either a wedding or a bridal shower. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I've done, then just keep watching. Okay guys, so for the first project, these are the items that you will need. All of these items I already had in my home and most of them came from the Dollar Tree, like these paint brushes, um, a foam brush is works also and so you might like the foam brush because it covers more, more surface area than these little brushes but I have those also. I have my little stash of bling there. All of this is from the Dollar Tree and maybe a bit from Walmart but mostly from the Dollar Tree. Same with this paint. I think it either came from Dollar Tree or Walmart. If it's from Walmart it's actually cheaper than a dollar because it's only 50 cents. Um, when you get these little paint jars like this from Walmart, you need scissors. I have some little strips of bling that I may or may not use. And this is from Dollar Tree also. This little, uh, oh no, it's actually from Walmart. This one's from Walmart, but you can get the tool from Dollar Tree. But again, all this stuff was in my stash already. So I'm just using what I have. And this wine glass is from Dollar Tree. So let me show you guys what we'll do. So what I've done here is I used my foam paintbrush to uh, paint the shape of a heart, basically. So that's your sweetheart neckline. So um, that's why I say this type of brush is better. And then I used one of the little paint brushes to just make my lines a little more crisp. But that's okay because we're going to use um, something to cover that up. But you use your brush to paint over and I did this already because I used four coats of white paint and so you need to allow time for it to dry in between and then once it's completely dry you that's when you move on through the project so I've already done this I paint down to the stem to there and on the bottom half I just I didn't take it up very high you could have taken it up higher if you like um, and a little bit of paint is on here but that'll wipe off when I'm I'll wipe it all off when I'm done so um, basically I just created a heart on the front end and then just painted down the base on the back side and down the flute some on the glass. That is that. Next step, you can add your bling. And so I'm trying to decide, I was hoping that in my stash here I had some that was a little bit smaller and I didn't find any. So let me show you guys one that I completed already so you'll see what I'm doing. So this is what I'm creating. This is the wine glass that I created um, for my girlfriend's wedding. And so us as bridesmaids, we all, for her bridal shower, we all had these. And then of course the bride's is white. And so I'm gonna show you guys how to create the white one, but the concept is exactly the same. I just painted on the heart and then I trimmed out the edges with this little um, with these bling stickers that I got from Dollar Tree and so I think these might be from Walmart or something because as you can see they're a little bit bigger than those which might totally be okay for the bridal glass so and you can see here on the back how it just goes down like that so that is what we're doing that's why I didn't need to buy anything because I'd already made several of these um, for my girlfriend's wedding and so these were the bridesmaids one and I made one for her so I'm just showing you guys how to make it for the bride 
but you can see this is what we're doing and it's so cute and everyone loved it it was a huge hit she loved it all of the bridesmaids loved it and it was a really fun project to do so that's why I'm sharing it with you guys for uh, anyone that you might know that might be getting married and want to have something really cute so maybe we'll put these bling strips on last so now we'll go ahead and make the little tutu for the bottom of the glass and so I'm just going to use the tool and cut it into strips so I'm just gonna like fold it in half maybe like a layer of five or six folds like this and then I'm just gonna pinch it together use a um, probably a piece of tool to pinch it together until I make it all bunched up and make it as full as we want then we'll attach it to the base so I'll show you guys how we do that in fast motion okay guys so I cut you know I've rolled off the pieces and then I just cut them after I rolled it then I cut it on both ends so we have strips here of one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so so I rolled it five times, I gave us 10 strips. And so we'll just pinch it in the middle like this. And I'm using another piece to, and this is a different type of fabric, but it's okay, it's the same. And um, tie it on here like that. And I'm gonna tie it really tight. And we're just gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna tie enough on here till I think it's nice and full to cover the base. So I'll just do that and then I'll be right back. So next we will go ahead and decorate the bodice.
And there you have it. Absolutely gorgeous. I think any bride would be happy to have this. And here are the two looks together. And I think they look so, so very pretty. And again, I think these are just, um, everyone would love it. I think they would totally love it. This one is mine from years ago when I made it for, well, I'll say years ago. It was a couple years ago when I made it for my girlfriend. So um, I've, I've actually used this one. And so I wanted to recreate the bride look so you guys can see how it would look for a bride. And you can see, you'll be able to see the wine through it. But yeah, I just think it's so, so, so very pretty. So that is that look. Now we'll move on to the next look. Okay guys, for this next project, you will need um, paper towel rolls or napkin rolls um, that I used and I saved. This is um, some glitter tape that I actually picked up from the Dollar General, but they, they have something very similar at Dollar Tree also. But even if you just get it from the Dollar General, it was just $1 for this. And as you can see, I've used it a lot. I still have the same white t uh, paint, my foam brush, and scissors. So again, this is another project that I did a little bit in advance where I already, I cut out, I measured the width of the tape around the napkin rings and cut out each width that I needed. So you can make as many napkin rings as you want. And then I painted the ends white because I did not want the cardboard ends to show. And so then what you do is you'll just cover the cardboard pieces with your tape. And now you have a beautiful napkin ring. Then you can go to the extra mile and paint the inside if you like. But I felt like that was not necessary because, I'll just move all this over. And I painted these in advance because I wanted them to be dry when I'm ready to make them. But it's super easy, you just take your napkin and just place the napkin ring right over your napkin. And so there's no need to paint the inside because no one will see it. But if you wanted to, you totally could. So that's how your napkin ring would look. So yeah, super easy. So you just roll off the tape into place. So I'll just show you guys, we'll do one here on camera. So you measure out how much tape you're gonna need for your napkin ring. And just cut it in place. So let's see here. So we'll cut it right here. And I think it's okay if you have a little bit of an overlap. I'd rather have a little bit of an overlap than not enough. And you just peel off the tape. On to your napkin ring. Super easy, super simple but very impactful and very beautiful and very cost effective because, you know, if you use napkins at your home, then you're gonna have the rolls and we normally just throw those away. So this is a great way to use trash and turn it into a treasure for your special day. You know, you just wanna take a minute to make sure that everything's lining up properly. And then you might have to cut off any excess. But there you have it. That's your napkin ring. Super easy for your beautiful day. And like I said, if there's any extra, you can cut it off or you can just leave it. It's no, no problem. So now you have a beautiful accent piece for your bridal shower. Even you can use this on your wedding day. And it looks very nice, very expensive, but you know that it was at a fraction of the cost any otherwise for anything else. So, beautiful. 
Okay guys, for this next project, you're going to need this tall, skinny, white uh, candle that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. It's just a plain white candle. I have a large pack of glue sticks, and so it, I think like eight of them came to the pack. So we need a glue stick. You could use a hot glue gun if you want, but this works perfectly fine. Also, I have a pack of these paper doilies, and I like that they come in, um, it's a multi-pack, so they come in different sizes, and I've already been using these, so these are open. You get 32 in here, and so I'm just gonna use what I have left. I have scissors. We have a piece of tape from our previous project. I cut a piece off that just fits around the candle like that so you can see it's cut to size and also we may be using some of this bling that we used from our wine glasses so we have our wine glasses we have our napkin rings now we need to make a centerpiece so let's get started okay so I have separated my doilies out and what I'm going to do is basically just fold them in half and then I'm going to fold it in half again because I want to find the center and this is rough you know I'm not being totally exact but once I found the center then I'm going to cut the tip off so that I can make it go slide right across the top of the candle so and I kind of just do this with trial and error to see I start off with a smaller amount first and if I need to cut more then I will but I think this one, yeah, maybe we'll cut just a little bit more off. I could try to force it down, but I don't want it to rip because these paper doilies are pretty thin. So I'll just cut off a little bit more. That's perfect. So we'll just slide this down like that, so let's move these. So that is our first layer. And I'm gonna do this three or four more times with the same size doily and then I'll go to the next size down. So the one that's the next smallest one to this one. So we'll do this a couple more times and I'll be right back. I'm just adding our second one on here and I'm leaving a little bit of space in between them but not too too much just a little bit because we want a layered effect okay so we have three layers on there and now this is the doily that's a size smaller I'm just going to add that one here on top you guys can see we're making or creating the layered effect and so I'm probably gonna add maybe one more of the smaller doilies like this size and then we'll move on to the next step okay so as you guys can see I have all the layers on here and I think it looks so pretty and I'm super excited how it's coming together so next step I will say if you want to burn the candle then I would say cut the wick down because you can see how long the wick is and so you really don't need it that long and you definitely don't want it that long for this project if you're actually going to use it and so I just went ahead and cut it down it is still there so the candle is still very functional but it's just not so high I probably wouldn't use this candle actually in this DIY but just in case so anyway I took another doily cut it in half and then I cut the half in half and I took one of the triangle pieces from the um, third and um, I fold it in half here and I might need to fold it a little bit more we'll see but we're gonna make the bodice now so let's move this a little closer and you want it, I fold it in half here so we can have a smooth edge at the bottom which is not totally necessary because we will fix that later but Okay, so we're just going to turn it around and make sure that everything lines up properly. And you want to make sure that 
your little sweetheart piece in the front is even. And so now what I'm going to do is kind of hold this in place and take my glue stick. You can use hot glue if you want, but I don't feel like burning my fingers right now. So you take your glue stick and just glue it on. And this glue stick is from the Dollar Tree and so it's kind of dry. So I'm just gonna roll off a piece and kind of tack it on the back and attach it like that. So you can use, I mean this totally works. You can use hot glue if you want to, but I don't think it's necessary. Add a piece there and I'm gonna add, tack it down there and I'm gonna add another piece here on the end so that it's not sticking out. Or you can use better glue sticks also. You might wanna get some glue from, the, from Walmart. <laughs> but, as you can see, that worked and it blends in so you can't see it. Perfect, so now we'll turn this back around and you guys can see how it looks from the front. So super cute, you can see the look coming together and I think it's really, really adorable. So to finish this off, we need a waistband. And so guys, in a lot of ways, this dress reminds me of my wedding dress. And so, uh, so that's why I'm just really like putting it all together. <laughs> so I have this, but I think this is gonna be too wide. I don't want it to take up the entire like bodice. So I'm actually gonna cut this in half and um, I might use my straight edge just to make sure that I get it nice and straight and then just tape it around. So I'll do that and be right back. And here is the finished look for this centerpiece. I think it is absolutely adorable. I just love, love, love it. I would have loved to have something like this for my uh, bridal shower. And so, yeah, I think it's so, so, so very pretty. It's very dainty and just very, I, I don't know if this is a word, but bridal-esque. <laughs> so, yeah. And I, like I said, it kind of reminds me of my wedding gown. And so I think it's gorgeous. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. So now let's put all three looks together. Okay guys, so here's a look at each of our DIY projects styled with just a um, charger plate from the Dollar Tree, a plate that I thrifted and this is a plastic plate actually with my monogram that I got from I think TJ Maxx years ago but anyway I just wanted to show you guys how you can put this look together and each of these items as you know were very inexpensive to make and mostly the items that I used to make these projects were from Dollar Tree but when you put everything together it can look a very expensive and absolutely gorgeous on a budget. So I just wanted to show you guys how everything looks all together and each DIY project kind of speaks to the next one and they create a cohesive look.
Okay guys, so I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. If so, please be sure to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That helps me out tremendously. Also, let me say again a huge thank you so much to Heidi for hosting this challenge. And be sure to check my description box down below because we are doing a hop. And so I will have the link to the next person's channel so you can go check out their DIYs. So there is no playlist. We're just hopping from one channel to the next. So once you are done here, you'll check the description box, click the link there and go to the next channel and do the same thing for them. Watch their video, go to their description box and click the link there for the next video. So you can just kind of hop along and it's so appropriate for this time of the year, right? Alrighty guys, so again, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you are new here, I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button. And for my faithful family members, <laughs> you all know I love you, love you, love you so, so, so very much. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.